Just one of those days that a flatbed driver goes through trying to drop my load off, but they won't take it off you. Just one of those days. I just want to get empty. This guy better hurry up for I get some straightening. Uh oh. There you go. got one of these one of these right here I highly advise you to get it I'll show y'all how dirty my truck is this just happened in Texas I cleaned that off at the truck stop right there just so I can be kind of clean where my handle was at yeah it got dirt it got dirty man i definitely gotta wash this thing so apparently that's a dot violation now no more securing bungees with a bungee but you can secure this bungee with a bungee so i guess i gotta put a one inch strap up there to hold those bungees according to that fleet message that we just that i just received yesterday no more securing bungees with bungees. Yo, that guy unloaded me in like five minutes. Literally five minutes. So right now, I guess I'm just waiting on a phone call for PNS to find out uh, where I'm picking my next load up at. I'm in Birmingham. I only got like five and a half hours left on my clock. So I can't go too far. I can pick up something right here in Birmingham. And hopefully if I get a preload that's going to North Carolina or Virginia or somewhere, I can grab a preload and start heading north. That's 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 just what I'm assuming. Yeah, look how dirty this truck is. It is dirty. Down there in Texas. This actually happened in Laredo. The place I picked those uh those skidded coils up at. So I guess I'll just sit here and chill out and wait on my next load. Down here in Decatur, Alabama, this is where I say on my GPS. The load note said it was Trinity. I was coming to Trinity, Alabama. But I get here. Shit, say Decatur, not Decatur, Alabama, uh, Atlanta. Where this damn place at? Ma that's Magic Steel. Hey, if y'all go back to my old videos, I don't know. I don't know which video it was. I I'll find it and share. You have arrived at your destination. That's Magic right Steel. Right side. Speed limit change possible. One of Jameson Steel. But anyway, one of my old videos when I was at Melton, I went to a Magic Steel up in uh. Uh, Michigan Magic Steel I can't remember the video Uh oh I got a 2 o'clock appointment It is 
There's one truck right here in front of me. So, uh, hey, hopefully, hopefully, I, hopefully this is the right line that I'm in right now. Oh, shit. So let's find out. Send my arrived at Shipper Call. I always send my arrived at Shipper. My buddy talking about he don't send no macros. I said, I got to send mine. Just in case I end up getting messed up and got to get some detention. I send mine. Send this and we're gonna get on out and go check in. So much for appointment times. Appointment time was at 2 o'clock. I got her at 1 30. It's now 3 22. This guy just pulled in. Yeah, I never understood that, man. I never understood how we, how truck drivers can get appointments. We bust our ass to get there. And we're late by one minute. And then they got it like the whole world falls apart. But we could be 30 minutes, hour early. And sit for another two, three hours. I got two hours, 43 minutes left on my clock. I don't... I don't think I've been I've been sitting here off duty for an hour and fifty three minutes. Like I was I was hustling so hard to get here. Like I I had actually it ended up pulling over and taking a piss, and I and I didn't even want to pull over. I was like, man, I need to hurry up and get there. I need to, my appointments at two. Maybe if I get there at one thirty, I could be in and out. But hey, that shit never works. So when you, you know when you deal with that stuff on a constant basis, you know you pretty much just end up not giving a fuck about nothing. Like hell, fuck it, the shit'll get there when it get there. That's that's what gives you that attitude. Yeah, but this load right here doesn't deliver until Tuesday. So what I'm gonna do with it? I'm gonna take it home. I'll be home. I, I already knew I was gonna be home tomorrow. I mean, so all this doing is just slowing me down from getting to the house. What time I get home tomorrow? I got like a, from here, I got like a 10 hour drive, 10 hours, 47 minutes to get home. And so, uh, I was thinking I could like knock out, I was thinking I could knock out like two hours of it today, but I see that ain't gonna happen now because by the time I get loaded and leave here, I might not have nothing but maybe like an hour left. So, uh, Hey, it is what it is. Hey, I might, I might have to, I might have to PC to a safe haven to park tonight. You never know. If I run out of hours, yeah, it just might. Yeah, this one truck pulled up to the right. The other bay, I think, I think he, I was thinking he thought he was gonna skip the line, but they told him to back up. This guy with this uh, Conestego trailer. Like, we, we've we been sitting... Okay, I've been sitting outside an hour 55 minutes. And he's just now... Uh, you know, open, you just see, seen him open it up. He could have been had that thing open. He could have had that shit open up while we were sitting outside. That's what I would have did. So by the time we pulled in, you know, he would have already... Already had it ready to load. What's this guy doing? It's a guy on a forklift right here. I wonder what he's doing. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna go back to sitting here pondering. <laughs> Hey, you know, lately, man, my last couple videos, I haven't done too much talking, really. My last couple videos, I might show you a little bit of load securement and tarping, but I really haven't been talking as much as I used to. Y'all remember, y'all go back to my old videos, I, I was doing a lot of talking then. That shit ain't the same.
Hey, guess what? This guy's loaded me with the forklift. Oh, wow, I didn't even know that. Look at me, talking all that shit. Talking all that shit, and the dude already started loading me. Let me get out and get my ass to work. Clean that up. It doesn't go there, buddy. It goes on the trailer. It doesn't go there. <laughs> hey, man, it's Friday, man. It's Friday. Hey, you know, shit happens, man. Shit happens. Let me get my ass out. Go ahead and get it secure in this load, man. Hey, this is a little quick video just for y'all, you know. Hope y'all enjoy the weekend. Happy Friday. Hope y'all don't spend too much money this weekend. You know, keep it in your pocket. The money will burn a hole in your pocket. Keep it in your pocket. That's what I'm trying to do. I ain't gonna get home till tomorrow. So that's gonna save me a little bit of money. I ain't spending money on Friday. And I might not spend too much tomorrow because my girl has to work Saturday and Sunday. So I'll be sitting at home watching some LSU Alabama. Go Tigers. <laughs> Flatbed game, man. Quick video, man. I'm out. Love y'all.